Cotinga Portuguese pronunciation, ca, t, locally, ca, a t, is a type of desert vegetation, and an ecoregion characterized by this vegetation in interior northeastern Brazil. The name, Cotinga, is a Tupi word meaning, white forest, or, white vegetation, caa. Topic. Forest, vegetation, tinga White The Cotinga is a xeric shrubland and thorn forest, which consists primarily of small, thorny trees that shed their leaves seasonally. Cacti, thick-stemmed plants, thorny brush, and arid adapted grasses make up the ground layer. Most vegetation experiences a brief burst of activity during the three-month-long rainy season. Cottinga falls entirely within Earth's tropical zone and is one of six major ecoregions of Brazil. It covers 850,000 square kilometers, nearly 10% of Brazil's territory. It is home to 26 million people and more than 2,000 species of vascular plants, fish, reptiles, amphibians, birds, and mammals. Geography <laughs> 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 The Cotinga covers the interior portion of northeastern Brazil bordering the Atlantic seaboard save for a fringe of Atlantic forest, extending across eight states, Piauí, Sierra, Rio Grande do Norte, Paraíba, Pernambuco, Alagoas, Sergipe, Bahia, and parts of Minas Gerais, as well the southeasternmost point of Rio de Janeiro in Cabo Frio. Altogether, the Cotinga comprises 850,000 square kilometers, about 10% of the surface area of Brazil. By comparison, it is over nine times the surface area of Portugal, whence came Brazil's early European settlers, and 20% larger than the U.S. state of Texas, located between 3 degrees south 45 degrees west and 17 degrees south 35 degrees west. West, the Cotinga experiences irregular winds from all directions. Rainfall is thus intermittent but intense, totaling 20 to 80 cm to 31.5 in on average. Although the climate is typically hot and semi-arid, the Cotinga includes several enclaves of humid tropical forest, with trees 30 to 35 meters (98 to 115 feet) tall. To the northwest, the Cotinga is bounded by the Maranhão Babacu forests. To the west and southwest, the Atlantic Dry Forests and Cerrado Savanas. To the east, the humid Atlantic Coastal Forests, and to the north and northeast, the Atlantic Ocean. Topic: <laughs> Climate. The Cotinga has only two distinguishable seasons, a hot and dry winter, and a cold and rainy summer. During the dry winter periods there is no foliage or undergrowth, as plants try to conserve water. Roots protrude through the surface of the stony soil, to absorb water before it is evaporated. Leaves fall off the trees to reduce transpiration. With all the foliage and undergrowth dead during the drought periods and all the trees having no leaves the Cotinga has a yellow-gray, desert-like look. During the peak periods of drought the Cotinga's soil can reach temperatures of up to 60 degrees Celsius. The drought usually ends in December or January, when the rainy season starts. Immediately after the first rains, the gray, desert-like landscape starts to transform and becomes completely green within a few days. Small plants start growing in the now moist soil and trees grow back their leaves. 
Rivers that are mostly dry during the past six or seven months start to fill up and streams begin to flow again. Topic: Conservation. The Caatinga is poorly represented in the Brazilian Conservation Area Network, with only 1% in Integral Protection Conservation Areas and 6% in Sustainable Use Conservation Areas. Economic Developed has fragmented the native biome. Estimates on the amount of Caatinga transformed affected by economic development range 25–50%, making Caatinga the most degraded ecosystem in Brazil. <coughs> Ecology Caatinga harbors a unique biota, with thousands of endemic species. Caatinga contains over 1,000 vascular plant species in addition to 187 bees, 240 fish species, 167 reptiles and amphibians, 516 birds, and 148 mammal species, with endemism levels varying from 9% in birds to 57% in fishes. Topic. Vegetation The Caatinga does not correspond to a single type of vegetation, but rather a broad mosaic. Nonetheless, all vegetative structure is adapted to the xeric climate. Succulent and crassulaceous species dominate, non-succulents exhibit small, firm leaves and intense branching at the base, akin to shrubs. Palm stands usually contain carnauba or babaku palms, but occasionally takuma and makaba. The Caatinga has enough endemic species to constitute a floristic province. Most authors divide the Caatinga into two different subtypes, dry sertau", and humid agreste" but categorizations vary to as many as eight different vegetative regimes. Fauna The Caatinga is home to nearly 50 endemic species of birds, including Lear's macaw Anadorhynchus leary, Spix's macaw Cyanocita spixi, mustached woodcreeper Xiphocolaptes falcerostris, Caatinga parakeet, Caatinga antren, São Francisco black tyrant, and Caatinga cacholote. Endemic mammal species include. 11 rodents, Caatinga vesper mouse, Wiedemes purinos, Trinomes yonenagi, Trinomes albispinus minor, Trinomes albispinus sertonius, Thylamus carami, Dasiprocta sp. n, Orizomes sp. n, Oxymicturus sp. n, Ripidomes sp. n, ssp. 1, and Ripidomes sp. n, ssp. 2, one primate, Calicebus barbara browni. Two bats, Xeronicteris viari and Chiroderma sp. n. Topic: <laughs> Possible anthropogenic origins. Based on radiocarbon dating of potsherds, proponents of historical ecology such as William Denovan and William Bailey have suggested that large sections of the Caatinga region may be of anthropogenic origin. Over 1,000 years ago, native peoples may have unintentionally created the environment of the modern day Caatinga through constant slash and burn agriculture, thereby stymying plant succession and preventing major rainforests from growing within the region. Conversely, fossil evidence suggests that the Caatinga may historically have been part of a much larger dry belt. Topic: Economic exploitation. 
The local population lives in extreme poverty, and many rely on extraction of natural resources for a livelihood. There are few drinkable water sources, and harvesting is difficult because of the irregular rainfall. Agriculture Native plants are used in local agriculture, much of it slash and burn. Pilocarpus jaborandi appears to exhibit medicinal properties. The fruits of umbu and mangaba are used as food directly, and other species are used for forage. Local palms produce commercial grade lauric and oleic oils, which undergirds much of the economy of northeast Brazil. Meliponiculture is also a well developed and traditional activity in the region. One of the most productive species, Melipona subnadida, known locally as Jandera, produces up to 6 liters a year, resulting in economic profit for the population. Irrigation along the São Francisco River promises to turn the region into a breadbasket. The soil is very fertile, and existing irrigation infrastructure already supports the export of grapes, papayas, and melons. At the same time, irrigation threatens to salinize the soil. Topic: <inaudible> Grazing. Cattle, Guzera and Red Sindhi cattle and goat farming are popular and very productive in the region. Overgrazing and timbering for fuelwood have decimated local vegetative populations. Outside irrigated regions, the area has begun to desertify a la the Sahara and Sahel. See also <laughs> Notes <laughs>